Welcome back. Golfing the Tri-State at Evansville Country Club with PGA Pro Mike Reynolds. This is tip of the week, and you have a great putting tip for us. I do. Tell us about this putting. Well, two pencils in a string, uh, it's a very inexpensive way to get started to um, learn a repetitive stroke, to learn visualization of your target line. Uh, in putting, there's key components that I always teach that are ba basic fundamentals, but are just key essentials to good repetitive good putting. So the first thing is is that we want to use the lines or the label on the on the ball to help us aim. You can also use a little sharpie to get a straight line. Mm -hmm. uh, all putts start on a straight line. That's the first thing that I'll tell you. you. So you have to visualize what a straight line is to you know get started. So mm -hmm. uh, when we use the lines it helps us understand aiming properly. So aiming the face uh, is a key component to good accurate putting. Um, learning the repetitive stroke obviously is the second key component and then learning the speed and in all putting greens have different speeds so that's why you go to the practice putting green you see uh, when you go from one course to another course or practicing or learning what the speed of the green is going to be the day that you're going to play. So, uh, but the two pencils in a string is a good uh, what I call uh, a controlled environment so that you mm -hmm. can practice properly. And what I'll do right. for you, Joe, is just aim aim the, the seam here. Right directly under the string. Right under the yeah. string. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to find a straight in putt uh, for best results. Learn how to hit straight in putts first. Uh, I've only got a string that's approximately 10 feet long on this particular setup, but you can make it longer if you'd like. Um, but learn how to hit the little shorter putts. This string will help you visualize what straight is that we talked about. So now what you can do is, is you can understand how to aim properly. And then as you develop your stroke, you want to create a stroke that's more level. The more level that you can swing the putter, the more meat of the putter is going to meet the, the, the center of that golf ball. That's going to create a truer roll, okay, a more end over end developing, end over end roll with the ball is a lot better than the ball bouncing and oscillating offline. So right. um, we eliminate skid, we can create a truer roll, we got a better chance of making putts. Great. So you want to step up and try this? Okay, or? sure. All right. All right. You ought to be able to visualize the straight part of this putt. Mm -hmm. So your aim should be good. Now we want to try to keep the putter more level as mm -hmm. you swing it through. Okay. Didn't get there. All right, we need a do-over. Okay. <laughs> yes, Joe Blair needs a do-over on most all shots. I was thinking of a do-over tournament. That would be good. There it is. Okay. I hit the string though. That's wrong. That's bad. Well, I hit the electric fence as you were saying before. What, the would, what would be better if you didn't hit the string? That the putter would stay more level and more straight as as you swung it through. Yeah. Uh, you'll have a truer roll. Even though you made that putt, you pretty much got away with it. Right. I don't know if that's part R of it. Right before, during the break, he was hitting like he hit seven in a row, something like that. You want to shoot one? Okay. Go ahead and do one. He's got a great putting stroke. Really good. What kind of putter is that, Mike? Uh, this happens to be one of my tailor-made putters. Uh, it's, it's one that's got the grooved insert. Mm -hmm. uh, these grooves are uh, tested out under these high-speed cameras that, that shows a truer, a truer um, impact position so that you get that, that good end-over-end -end roll. Neat. Check this out. Right on. Right in the heart of the cup, baby. That's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> it's supposed to go in. But, uh, you know, once you set yourself up for a good little practice session, you work on these little shorter putts, three and four footers, and you develop this confidence mm -hmm. that, okay, if you can make those three and four footers, then when you get to a longer putt, it's not as essential to, you know, make those long putts, but the same principles apply. If you have good aim, you have, you have a good repetitive stroke, and then you learn the speed. I mean, you can make it from right. all distances. Helps you get closer anyway, huh? More online. Sure. Nice putt, fantastic. Mike Reynolds, the string and, and two pencils. That's right. That's awesome, anybody <laughs> can afford that.
Go down to CVS, get some string, you're all set, man. <laughs> That's awesome. What a great tip. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Tip of the week, Mike Reynolds. We're here at Evansville Country Club. We're going to be back with Mike in just a moment. Then we're going to do Joe's scorecard. And have you decided, are you going to play? I'll tee it up with you. Are you going to tee it up? I will. All right. Yeah. Hole 15, Mr. Mike Reynolds, golfing the Tri-State at Evansville Country Club. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.